I fredags sändes ett inslag i amerikanska tv-kanalen Fox News om stadsdelen Rosengård i Malmö. Ett inslag som har väckt starka känslor och debatt här hemma i Sverige. Så här såg det ut. Swedish authorities have their hands full in the southern city of Malmö with an explosion of Muslim immigrants. 90% of them unemployed, many angry, taking it out on the country that took them in. If we park our car, that will be damaged. So we have to go very often two vehicles, one just to protect the other vehicle and so on. Fear of violence has changed the way police, firemen and emergency workers do their jobs. There are some neighborhoods these Swedish ambulance drivers do not go into without a police escort. They've come under threat from angry crowds who tell them which patients to take, which patients to leave behind. The most liberal asylum laws in Europe mean a city of one quarter million is now one quarter Muslim, changing the face and the idea of what it means to be Swedish. Asylum seekers may bring spouses, brothers, grandparents. Civil servants say the city is swamped. Do so you have a thousand pupils in a Swedish school? Yeah. How many are Swedes? Two. Students arrive at age 10 or 12 from Iraq, Iran, Lebanon with no knowledge of Swedish. Some have never been to school at all. Special classes require interpreters. Even then, more than half won't graduate. They are not a part of the Swedish society, so to speak. It's difficult for them to get into the society. And yet they are the most rapidly growing segment of Swedish society, outsiders who are already inside, posing a challenge to legendary Swedish tolerance. Tolerance that has been stretched to the breaking point. The city's main mosque was recently set ablaze by arsonists. When firefighters arrived on the scene to rescue the building, they were attacked by stone throwers. In Malmo, Steve Harrigan, Fox News.